Heavenly Father, the hour has come to glorify your name. May your name be glorified this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord, we know that you have power to redeem the elect. You have power to deliver the elect. You have power to serve the elect. Therefore, here we are. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, the concept of overcoming demonic history or negative history has to do with something that is very, very unique. And I don't know, but let me tell you, I think it's time to say enough is enough. And how do we say enough is enough? Are you with me? Now, it's a matter of I don't know whether you are second generation or third generation or fourth generation, but you have to choose. It's, it's, it's an intentional thing you have to do. You have to. Listen, I like at times the way you handle yourself. You are making an intentional decision to come into the presence of God always, to serve the Lord, do this. It's an intentional thing. It means you are kicking away any curse in your father's line and your mother's line. That's the meaning. It's an intentional thing, you see. And so here, what you are doing, that you are making a choice. And the choice has to do with the fact that you are choosing blessing and not the curse. And so you can be the one to stand against the forces of darkness and to break those strongholds that are keeping you and your family in bondage. Now, the scripture says, the curse does not come without a cause. Now, I'm reading from... Proverbs chapter 26, verse 2 says, like a fleeting sparrow, like a flying swallow. So, a curse without a cause shall not alight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you with me? So, there, there's always a cause. A cause. So, 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 that means when we are dealing with issues such as addictions. Now, anytime we have addictions, our mind reminds us about something that has to do with alcoholics. No. Habits. We are people of habitual, you know, addicted to certain specific habits in their life that they cannot stop. They can't stop. You see? So 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 what I'm saying is, is that that um at times we are dealing with issues such as addictions. We are dealing with issues such as bad habits and dysfunctions. Either we have made bad choices or somebody in our family line has made some bad choices. So there is a reason a child grows up to become an alcoholic. There's a reason. So there's a cause, right? Yeah, there's a cause. And there's a reason a child becomes an abusive parent. And there's a reason a young man commits crimes until he's sent off to prison. And when he's released, he goes right back to a life of crime. Like this guy who killed this uh, teacher in Memphis three days ago, right? He just killed the lady. He has been released from prison. And then he killed the lady. So there is a cause. And that's why you need to overcome. Overcoming negative demonic activity in your life. It's very, very, so there is a reason. You see, so certainly these are, you see, there are certain societal issues. As I, 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 did, I did mention uh, a, a few concerns, the case that happened in Memphis may have an impact, but these things don't randomly happen in the spirit realm. Somebody somewhere open the door to the enemy. You see? So, understand if you are struggling with one or more of these things, that does not make you a bad person. But you need not mop around guilty, condemned, because you have some obstacles to overcome. See, many times, it may not even be your fault. Somebody else made the poor choices, and now you have to deal with the repercussions. So, we are going to pray. We are going to pray. But let me let me let me pose this warning. Nevertheless, 
uh, be careful that you don't use that as an excuse to to also do certain negative lifestyle patterns or perpetuate some negative lifestyle patterns. You have to dig your heels and do something about it. That's why we are going to pray this prayer. And let me tell you, make sure that you have to think soberly. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to think soberly. It's a, it's, 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 it's a first step. You see? Listen, you are not the best. You are not the worst. You are you. You are the best. You see? But you are not the worst. But I am. Who I am is a key. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Many of you start thinking yourself that you are the worst. It means you are processing your family history. The negative aspects of it. So don't do that. Currently see yourself as somebody who has been redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And through the power of the resurrection, you are who you are. Amen. Amen. You have a royal bloodline in your system. And that bro royal bloodline came from Calvary. Amen. 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 The shed blood, the cross, is speaking on your behalf. The blood of Jesus is speaking on your behalf. You are an overcomer. Have that mentality. And start moving into another realm. Whereby you will be able to stand toe to toe with the enemy. Shoulder to shoulder. Eyeball to eyeball. Amen. And decree that man shall not live by heart. Bread alone. But by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And I know that each and every day. I am into the word of God. And I know what God, the word of God says about who I am. I am who the word of God says I am. Amen. Amen. And I can do what the word of God says I can do. And I have all that the word of God says I have. Amen. To become a child of God. Amen. And so you have to process it. Say amen to that. Amen. And so I want you to prophesy now by praying and decreeing that I am the person the word of God says I am. Amen. I'm a child of God. Born again, spirit filled, anointed, amen. overcomer. Amen. 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 More than a conqueror. Amen. 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 I am the battle axe of God. Begin to profess our prayer. Oh, I want you to pray. Possess the promises. Amen. Jesus, say amen. amen. Say, I am the best. I am the best. I, I be myself. I, I am the best. I am the best. I be myself. I be myself. I am West. I am West. I be him or her. I be him or her. Hallelujah. Amen. And that person also is West. And that person also is West. I be me. I be me. Hallelujah. Amen. Now nobody can try to be you. You fail. And you, you too, you can try to be that person. Amen. Amen. If that person becomes himself, he will succeed. If you two become who you are, you will succeed. Are you with me? Yes. So, you must think of yourself soberly. Uh -huh. That means, I can't say, I can't say, because this one has done it. Me too. I can do it. You can't say that. But I can do it because I say that and I am that way of who God has made me to be. Listen, I can do certain things because my name is Pastor No. Amen. Amen. Because that is what God has made me to be. But I can't do certain things because somebody has done it. No, that's not what the Bible says. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Now, when I try to do it, if I'm not very careful, I'll hurt myself. Are you with me? 
If somebody were to jump, high jump, <laughs> maybe 10 or 20 feet of high jump, and I tried, I hurt myself. So I think we hurt ourselves a lot. Somebody built a big mansion, and you saw it, says, I'm going to build it. Meanwhile, you have to sit down. Are you with me? And what do you think you have to do? Huh? Are, are you sure you can calculate the cost? No, you have to look inside of you, who you are. Amen. Amen. Are you with me? Maybe God hasn't programmed you to build that house. But God has programmed you to build your kids. Because your kids are the ones who, who are going to build it for you in the near future. Amen. We call it alteration of destiny. Be very careful. Don't change your destiny. Amen. Listen, I know somebody who invested so much into his kids. And now he has become, you know, Kwesi Kwate, the new chancellor. The new chancellor, the new exchequer. Chancellor, UK, he's quasi quoting. He's like America, what? Treasury, what? Secretary. Like Ghana, Bank of Ghana. Quasi quoting. The father and the parents invested too much in him. Now he has all the money to build a new thing. For their family and for the father and the mother. Are you with me? And you know how he succeeded? The father and the mother, they, they are so powerful Christians. So they built into him good ethics. That is what I'm trying to do according to God's purpose for your kids. But most of you don't understand. Amen. Kwesi Kwate, the new Estreka, counselor to the new British Prime Minister, Lise Rose. Hallelujah. Are you with me? So be very careful about all tracing of destiny. Oh, I pray that the spirit of the living God will help my people, my community to understand this dynamics, but let me tell you, it takes the spirit of God to understand. Oh Lord, have mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So somebody is building a dominion center. That doesn't mean you should also go and build a subdue center. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. No. You have to be yourself, the person you are. Amen. Amen. And when you can think of yourself within the context of what God has made you to be, then you're on the path of breaking the limit, breaking the curses, overcoming, overcoming the demonic history in your life. God Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you understanding? And when you see me, that is the person I am. So I hear people say, somebody did this. I say, forget it. Unless you are in that lane, you always have low self-esteem about yourself. Every day, you'll be thinking somebody, something is wrong with you. Why should God allow this to happen? Amen. Amen. Now there are four ways of assessing yourself in the community we find ourselves. Later we'll discuss it. The first space we have what we call make sure that you represent the person everybody knows about. Everybody knows you. You, you yourself knows that you are that person. Amen. Amen. And the second aspect is that 
you have to also be very, very careful because there are certain blind spots, blind area and that represent what is unknown about you, but it's known by everybody. And then the third one has to do with the fact that there's a hidden area, very dangerous, what the person knows about himself or herself that others do not know. And then the fourth one. These are what we call personality variants. So you have to be very careful. The fourth one, the other quadrant. That is the, the, the four quadrant about people. What is called your unknown self or your potential? The fourth one is what is unknown by you is unknown by others. But who knows? Only God knows. Like David, he didn't know he was a king and nobody knew he was a king. He didn't know he has the ability and nobody knew he had the ability and that is potential. Are you with me? So sitting down out there. Is, listen, it's only God who knows. That's why God says, go and anoint one of Jesus' sons. Amen. If someone doesn't know, he's a prophet. So please be very careful. Listen, don't go to this prophet. They will destroy the unknown about you. My brother, do you hear me? Don't go to the they will destroy the unknown about you. They will ascribe it to who? Somebody in your family who will cause your mishaps. That is a lie. It's God who is waiting to process that potential in you. And at the right time, he will bring you out like David. And you kill your Goliath. And that will advertise you. Say amen to that. Amen. My God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so be very careful. That for variant. Nobody knows. There's a hidden potential in you. Amen. amen. Nobody knows. You yourself, we don't know. That's why we come to church. That's why we have all these retreats. That's why we wait upon God. That's why each and every morning, you need to seek down the face of God. Listen, that's why a lot of nations all over the world have reserves. They have reserves. True or false? Even Ghana has had reserves long time ago, but Ghana didn't know until recent times when they discovered the oil. There is a reserve potential in you. Amen. Nobody knows except God. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, there are some of these kids we see around here. They have hidden potential. That is why I'm so very careful and mindful about them. I don't want people to instruct me as to what to do. I want God himself because God knows the potential in them. The other day you discover a potential in your son. Wait, you say, I'm not coming back. It's a hidden potential. And you need discernment to see that. No. Why is it that my son for the first time is so stuck to the classroom? He's a brilliant guy. Like Pastor Benizano. No. <laughs> Hallelujah. God, Pastor, not like books. Like reading books. Researching. Amen. Amen. You got me? So that is how it is. I know who you are. I am by God's grace. Amen. 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 So you are going to pray. So, so, so this is the time to overcome those demonic or negative history. Are you with me? Amen. So you are going to pray that God, here am I. All the hidden potential in me. I know you are preserved for the appointed day, for the appointed time, Lord God. Amen. Amen. So Lord, I'm in your hands. Let it manifest at the appointed time. Listen, when the oil started showing up and they started what? Processing the crude oil. Then they started using some of the crude oil to pay Ghana's foreign debts. There are certain debts in your life that need to be paid. Amen. Amen. 
And then there were signals all over the place. Started attracting investors. Investors, this Canadian oil company, this oil company, this. May your gift attract the right people into your life. Yeah. Those hidden reserves. That's why I don't like people being in the wrong church. Because in any time you find yourself in those demonic churches, you are done. Pray aggressively ask the Lord uh, that at the appointed time may it manifest. Hallelujah. Amen. May those potential manifest Amen. for his glory. Begin to pray. Amen. Now, this is the solution to overcoming generational curses. I tell you, I hear people elevating generational curses and all those stuff. Are you with me? People saying, swallow your pride, confess your pride, this and this. And listen, when you allow, and all those anger issues, when you allow these potential to come to the surface, I tell you, all these anger issues, all these curses issues will just vanish. Amen. Amen. Because now your focus is tuned on God. You could see the hand of God working in you. Amen. Amen. If you have an anger problem or a problem with alcohol, whatever it is, all just vanishes. Are you with me? Yes, and so brothers and sisters, you can beat anything that come against you. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing of God. Oh, you don't have the anointing of God. You have it. By the anointing of God upon my life. By the anointing of God upon my life. In the mighty power. In the mighty power. Resurrection power. Resurrection power. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Some of you, I can see spirit of fear in a lot of you. So, at that when you are speaking, you are shivering. You need to clear that fear away. Amen. Amen. You have to be bold. Hallelujah. Amen. You got me? Yes, sir. So in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the power. By the power. Of the blood of Jesus. Of the blood of Jesus. I can do something about it. I can do something about it. The scripture says. The in the epistle of Ephesians, in the epistle of Ephesians, that our fight, that our fight, is not against flesh and blood, it's not against flesh and blood, but we fight in the spiritual realm. But we fight in the spiritual realm. Are you with me? Yes, sir. But today many people blame other people for their faults. They have forgotten that. You can't blame people. Don't blame people. For me, I don't blame anybody. Amen. Amen. All I need to do is to sit down and then reflect and then glean information from the past and use it to counteract the enemy from proceeding with it. Are you with me? Now listen. The life God has given me, I tell you, it's so precious than all these curses. And we have heard a lot about generational curses, but equally as important as generational choice too. You see, at times, when people are talking about generational cases, I also talk about generational choice. That is what it is. Generational curse is about generational choice. So today, you have to make good choices. Amen. Amen. You have to make what? Amen. Amen. So that's why. So as you bring the curtain down, I want you to stand up. This time you are going to pray three quick fast prayers aggressively. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, this is the life. This is the life. God has given me. God has given me. The life in Jesus Christ. The life in Jesus Christ. And I'm going to make the very most of it. And I'm going to make the very most of it. I'm going to put. I'm going to put a stop. And stop to any of the negative patterns. To any of the negative patterns in my family's bloodline. In my family's bloodline. Therefore, I decree. Therefore, I decree 
in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That the power, that the power of, the of, Jesus, of the blood of Jesus. Of the blood of Jesus. Terminate. 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 Evil blood. Evil blood. Stream. Stream. In my life. In my life. In my life. In my life. My ancestral background. My ancestral background. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray against it right now. Listen, we have two more to pray and we bring the curtain down. Now, I want you to understand that you must take authority over all strongholds, but you need also to activate. You are going to activate the Holy Ghost power. You are going to ask the Holy Ghost power, Holy Spirit, release your blessings. Amen. Amen. To take hold of my bloodline. To take hold of my seed. Do you know how to activate it? He said, ask. Amen. Amen. Seek. Find. Amen. Amen. The same Bible also says, resist. We have resisted, but we are going to seek and find and receive. Amen. 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 So we are going to pray that in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Release. Release. The seed. The seed. Of Abrahamic promise. Of Abrahamic promise. Into my life. Into my life. My bloodline. My bloodline. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. To possess. To possess. The gates. The gates. Of my enemies. Of my enemies. Of my enemies. Of my enemies. Listen. I was reading the scripture. And then the spirit of God says, you have made something. I said, what? He says, look at the first seed of Abraham, Isaac. When do Isaac was going to get married to Rebecca. Are you with me? You know what he says? He says, and he will, that is the first prophecy, and he will possess the gates of what? His enemies. And we have missed that one. So that is the first seed blessing. You must possess, begin to pray, possess. Ask the Holy Ghost. I'm reading to you 
Um, Genesis chapter 24, verse 60. This is the first blessing of Abrahamic sea covenant. He says, And they blessed Rebekah and said to her, Our sister, may you become the mother of thousands of ten thousands. It has happened, right? And may your descendant possess the gates of those who hate you. That is what we are yet to receive. Amen. 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 I so declare that in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray. I pray that my seed, that my seed, seed will possess, will possess the gates, the gates, gates of enemies, of enemies in my father's house, in my father's house, in my mother's house, in my mother's house, and the enemies, and the enemies beyond, beyond my family, my family who will contest, who will contest against my prosperity, against my prosperity, my success, my success. My multiplication, my multiplication, my enlargement, my enlargement. In, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Now the final one is this. You are going to pray that your blessings will leave a lasting legacy even after your death. Amen. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. After you prophesy, you are going to decree that in the name of Jesus, Lord God, Whatever you have endowed me with, may this blessing, amen, amen, be a legacy wherever I enter, wherever I set my feet, wherever, wherever, hallelujah. Amen. And may you leave a mark there, amen. a mark. Are you with me? Yes, sir. A mark. So in the, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, Lord God, whatever you have endowed me with, whatever you have endowed me with, all the gifts, all the gifts, the talents, the talents, abilities, abilities, and the spiritual empowerment, and the spiritual empowerment, and the spiritual blessing, and the spiritual blessing from heavenly places, from heavenly places, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pastor, I pastor, whatever. Wherever I set my feet, I set my feet in any location, in any location, in a place, in any place, in a territory, in a territory, in a ground, in a ground, in a continent, in a continent, in a job place, in a job place, in a town, in a town, in a church, in a church, in the area, in the area, every area, every area, my footprints, my footprints, Abraham. Leave a legacy. Leave a legacy. Of a death. Of a death. May he speak. May he speak. May he speak. May he speak. Volumes of millions of voices. Volumes of millions of voices. To the generations to come. To the generations to come. Including my seed. Including my seed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Prophesy now. In the name of Jesus.